Hey everyone, my name is Nuno and on today's video I'll be giving you guys some basic tips on RK Tycoon. Before starting I just want to apologize for taking 8 months to upload new video to the channel but I had a lot of work and a lot of traveling so that didn't help at all when it came to build content to the channel, I just didn't have enough time. Neither was the fact that, uh, you know, I wanted to focus more on tutorials and um, unfortunately that I think that was not a, the best idea. Uh, so maybe I'll have to change that, but I'll talk more about that on another video. Either way, let's start today's video. Uh, and Archie Tycoon is an extremely fun game. I got access to it a while ago, but um, only now I really had time to test it out. So if you are a bit overwhelmed and you want to learn a few tips, even if they are extremely basic like these ones, uh, just stay tuned. You never know, maybe you'll learn something new. Okay, so the first tip I want to give you guys is if you're playing the game for the first time, just play the campaign missions. Uh, the first one is a tutorial, but it really gives you a good insight of the gameplay mechanics. Plus, if you follow it, you will learn everything that is needed to just make a successful arcade. The second tip I want to give you guys is to do contracts as soon as possible. Now, you can choose from a list of contracts that provide cash and stars as rewards. And sometimes they are extremely easy to complete, so before even opening your shop, just have a look at them. See if any of those missions are uh, reasonable or if you can do them So and select them. When you finish five contracts, you will receive a contract coin, okay? And that's the main point of doing these contracts. And it's mostly because these contract coins can be used to buy unique machines, which basically are the best machines available in the game. Okay, so the next one is kind of a strategy that I personally like, uh, which is early machines, I always try to mix retro with pinball. So basically, retro machines are the cheapest ones, so that's an easy uh, choice. But I normally choose first the pinballs, because they're a bit higher in price, but also they have a higher amount of stars. And then I complemented it with um, retro machines. And the main reason I do that is because the pinball machines will give you more stars and we want those stars because they're a very important currency in the game. And talking about machines and stars, I would recommend you guys to use the stars that you get initially to improve the early machines and by doing that you will make more stars. Not only that, you will also improve the quality of the machine and you, by doing that the machine becomes a bit more reliable. Of course it provides you more stars and a bit more amusement. Now these values they will depend from machine type to machine type but Overall, that's a really good, in my opinion, strategy. Another thing you should do is not forget to manage the amount of tokens that each machine will require to use. Now, by default, it will always come with one, so each user will have to spend a token to play on the machine. Uh, but you should and you could change that to other values. Now, I never tried more than two tokens. In fact, you can go up to five tokens per machine, but I never tried more than two. And the only moments I use two tokens are when you have the machines on maximum quality and also when there is some kind of trending for that type of machine. So let's say that you um, on, on the precise month there's trending for pinball machines, then I will up the value of tokens on those pinball machines to two tokens. But you can play around with that and come up with, with uh, a better solution for you guys, but for me this works and it's not a bad idea because the more tokens the, your, the users will spend, it means also they will spend more money for buying more tokens. So yeah. Another tip I want to give you guys is regarding leveling up staff members. Now, when a staff member levels up, and he will level up by performing actions or their duty, um, you will want to know what you should do. Now, you can um, increase perks, or in this case, you can add perks to the staff or increase their status. I would recommend first to, in, to add the perks, and the one I recommend the most is the Prodigy perk, because it allows the staff to gain more experience and if he gains more experience by performing his tasks then he will level up a lot faster. 
A good second choice is to add the proactive perk and this proactive perk will make that the the staff will be a lot less time idle and that is extremely useful on the early stages of the staff because he's not gonna be very fast probably and if he stays a lot less time idle then he will be performing his tasks a lot faster. Another good tip, and this one is a bit more advanced in, in my opinion, is to research the automated fuse box when you can. Now, like I said, this is a bit more advanced because it will require a lot of stars to, to reach that uh, technology so you can uh, research it. But this technology allows technicians to turn on broken machines after they repair them and therefore it's a really good automatization process for your arcade and you don't have to be always turning on whenever um, a machine broke down and um, the technician didn't fix it in time. And the last one, which is something that it took me a while to realize or to use it, uh, is the possibility to see hidden parts of the map by selecting the eye icon under the management tool. Now, this will make the machine somehow transparent and therefore you can see what is behind them. And this is extremely useful if you are, uh, you know, cleaning trash manually or if you want to place floors or even other objects behind a certain object. And therefore, this is extremely useful. And to be honest, I only noticed this like a few uh, after being after playing for quite a few hours. So, yeah, those are the eight basic tips I wanted to give you guys. Either way, I hope these tips are useful and they can help improve your experience within the game uh, if i forgot something just you know leave a suggestion down below um leave a comment uh and if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next video cheers